Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Tacky Tuesday. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. We come out with a different video every single week. And today's Tacky Tuesday is going to be all about atrial fibrillation. So what is atrial fibrillation? It is a disorganized and very irregular rhythm where the atria of the heart do not contract as they normally do. Instead of contracting, they quiver or fibrillate. If you have ever seen atrial fibrillation on a 4 lead or a 12 lead, then you are going to completely understand what I'm about to say. Atrial fibrillation is a very ugly rhythm. If you haven't already seen my ventricular fibrillation, I will go ahead and link that video up in the right hand corner right now, but it looks very similar to the ugly of ventricular fibrillation. However, there are QRS complexes and <laughs> obviously the patient is still alive, but it is just a very, very ugly rhythm. So let's talk about some of the characteristics of AFib. So the rate varies. And when I say this, if you've ever seen AFib in real time with a patient hooked up to a cardiac monitor, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The rate bounces all over the place. You may see it at one moment at 60, you may see it the next moment at 95. It just kind of depends and Unfortunately, that is just one of the characteristics of AFib. The regularity is irregular. There is no P wave and there is no PR interval. The QRS complexes, however, are normal. Some of the causes of AFib can include hypertension, medications, stimulants, alcohol especially, heart problems. And when I say heart problems, it could be a heart attack, heart disease, heart failure, valve problems, congenital problems, etc. Hyperthyroidism can cause AFib. A previous heart surgery can cause AFib and viral infections. Some of the symptoms that your patient may complain of with atrial fibrillation are chest pain, dizziness or syncope, palpitations, uh, fatigue, difficulty breathing, and anxiety. And this just all kind of depends on if this is a new onset of AFib or it's something that the patient already has been diagnosed with and uh, currently lives with. Okay, going into EMS pre-hospital treatment of AFib, uh, you'll notice in the video that the AFib is pretty rapid and that's only because the cardiac rhythm generator that I have has one setting only and it's that rate. So I will say I definitely would have preferred for it to be at a slower rate. I'm going to do a totally separate video about atrial fibrillation with RVR or unstable AFib. As of today, just your run-of-the-mill atrial fibrillation patient. Your treatments can include but aren't limited to to get a 12 lead on them, give oxygen, uh, get a set of vitals, start an IV, and treat your patient. If your patient has a complaint of nausea, treat the nausea. However, your protocol says that. But we will definitely get into when we need to cardio over or give our patient cardiosm in a different video. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's Tacky Tuesday and I will see you next week. Bye!